Welcome everybody. I thought in this video I would show you how to make a formula mass calculator that gives you the formula mass uh, down here you'll see in green um, of a compound and for right now I have sulfuric acid. Uh, this is just text box um, but this is an Excel file you can make on your own. It's a neat little project uh, and it teaches you about Excel and um, formula mass at the same time. So let's go ahead and get started. I know there's a few things, uh, uh, I'm sorry, apps out there that do the same thing, but basically you can do this yourself and you can learn a little bit in the process. So let's go ahead at the very bottom here, and this file is available on my website. If you look at the link in the description, uh, there is a tab called periodic table. And if you go to that tab, you'll notice that I have a periodic table and it doesn't look like the uh, periodic table that you're used to maybe. Um, it's a list format. So if you go to Google and uh, type in periodic table list, uh, a lot of these will pop up where it's just basically an Excel file. Um, I copied and pasted into the spreadsheet so that I have something that Excel can use. And so if I type in boron, um, it can actually pick up this value here. So you're going to want something that's in row and uh, column format. Uh, and again, this is already there for you, so you can use this one if you'd like. Um, so on the periodic table tab, and starting with cell A1, you don't have to start in cell, in A1, cell A1, but um, starting in cell A1, I have my periodic table. So I'm going to go back to my um, spreadsheet, calculate and click there. So I have this little calculator, um, but all it does is just take the atomic weights of the um, atoms that are in the compound and tally them up and give you the answer. So basically what's usually done with pencil and paper is done in Excel. So there's just a few little tricks. Number one was the periodic table. You need to have a row and table format for your periodic table and you'll see why in just a minute. So you start with uh, your compound. Um, part of the trick is knowing the formula for your compound. So sulfuric acid would be H2SO4. That's two hydrogens, one sulfur, and four oxygen. So you come over here and knowing your formula, you are given seven uh, elements to enter their names and uh, how many of those atoms you have. So for sulfuric acid, we have two hydrogen, one sulfur, and four oxygen. So you'll notice when I change this, it gives me something different. Um, let's say, for example, I wanted a nitric acid. I would have uh, the formula for nitric acid, and you'll see that Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. <laughs> Can't talk and write at the same time. Nitrogen. There we go. I've got an error there. Why is that? Um, anyway, so you have to type in exactly nitrogen. I have two nitrogens or whatever. Anyway, um, so you'll see there it tabulates, you know, based on the uh, answer that I give it. I told it nitrogen. Um, it tabulates how much nitrogen I have. So if I had two atoms of nitrogen, um, I would start with 14.0067 AMU for each nitrogen uh, for a total of 28, which is that value times 2. Uh, and then also on this uh, right-hand column, I typed in a formula that gives you the percentage uh, for each, um, uh, each element. So let me go back to hydrogen. And so basically that's what this does is the same thing that pencil and paper um, usually did. So let's take a look real quick. Just want to show you the formulas. Again, this is real easy to make. And um, if you go column by column, uh, you'll see <clears throat> a different formula for each column. So you have uh, some funky looking thing up there saying uh, that you're looking up. So you have this V lookup function. Uh, which is pretty easy to use. And then on the column next to it, you have a multiplication 
of those two values, G2 and F2, which are the, the values in G and F multiplied together. And then finally you have a uh, division. And so let me just real briefly run over a couple of these real quick. In Excel, if you want to type in um, a formula, it's very simple. So let me just show you real quick. This might be slow if you're already familiar with Excel. But if you type in equals 6, the equal sign and the number 6. Uh, my default, and your default probably too as well, is set to show the value. Um, and not what you just typed in, but the actual value. So if I type in equals 6, I get the answer, which is just 6. Well, if I go back up, either using my mouse or my cursor, uh, and I type in equals 4 plus 2, and hit enter, I get the same answer. So if I go back up again, and I'm in that cell, notice here at the top we have uh, what's called the formula bar. And to the left of that, to the very left, is called the name box. So you have um, a little area that tells you where you're at, and it also shows you the formula uh, for that cell. So here I am in H10, and I see that the formula box, or I'm sorry, the formula bar uh, says equals 4 plus 2. So if I look down here, I see 6. And so basically that's how Excel works is you type in or you start typing in your formula and you hit enter and it gives you the answer. So that's very convenient. Let me go ahead and delete that. Okay, so coming back up here, we have this formula and you'll notice uh, one of the first things is this if is error. Okay, so I can actually clean this up a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and do that because what I want you to look at uh, is not the if is error. That's just for personal preference. It keeps things uh, from getting all wonky because I don't like to look at errors. Um, and so I'm going to take that off. Okay, so um, let me go back up there. Okay, so you have VLOOKUP in your formula. And that's what I wanted to kind of focus on was where does that pull data from? Where did I get the 